Um, it is beta day, finally. And you would think I might be excited, but I'm actually just a ball of nerves and really, really freaking scared. It's tough because we've worked five years basically to get to this point and I'm just terrified it's all gonna get taken from me. Okay, well, anyway, I um, don't know what I know until I know it, so I have to go, I'm gonna get a bite to eat, get ready. Um, I'll be taking my shots before, because I still take my Love Knox injections. Oh, and by the way, I totally messed up and got like this like really bad bruise. For the most part, I've been like pretty good, like you can't really even see anything. I get little dots like this sometimes, but that, yeah, I messed up. But anyway, so I'm still taking my blood thinner, so I need to do that before my appointment, and then I go for my blood work, and then I wait for the call. <laughs> so we, I don't find out right away, they send the results to my clinic, and then I wait for a phone call from them, I think, or they might email me, I'm not sure. So, um, we'll see. Okay, we're off to beta. I am, I feel like sick. I feel sick to my stomach. And I was posting on Instagram earlier and all the ladies were like, it's totally normal. I felt the same way. And then a lot of women offering words of encouragement, saying positive for me. Um, it's just so hard. It's just so bloody hard. Um, but what will be will be, and I do believe that this is meant to work out this time. But like I said, when you've been let down so much, it's really hard to have faith in moments like this. Um, it's just hard. I know that sometimes it takes a while to get the call and uh, especially because we're doing like remote monitoring and I'm going to like a lab. I don't know that they're gonna actually do it stat, which they're supposed to, like they're supposed to do it right away for me, but I just don't know, like some labs don't have the ability or they send it off or whatever. So um, it's hard to say if I'll even get the results today. Like if there's a possibility I won't and like how brutal would that be? This journey is so hard. So hard. Okay, I'm home. Um, that went pretty smoothly. It's just blood work, obviously. And now we wait. They said that the results will be faxed within two hours to my clinic. So I emailed my clinic and just said, let me know. I'm a nervous wreck. Don't make me wait. <laughs> and uh, they know me there now because I've, you know, been a pretty special case. And uh, I think that as soon as they receive the results, um, the nurse will call me. So... Uh, it's gonna be not so bad, I think. Um, I thought that it was gonna be way later this afternoon and I'm relieved to hear that it might just be a couple hours. So I didn't have time to eat before. I'm just reheating some spaghetti squash that I made yesterday. And then I'm gonna put on some friends and try and distract myself and not look at my phone or Instagram or anything for the next couple hours and just zen out and zone out. <laughs> zen out and zone out, that's what I'm gonna do. It's nerve wracking. I'm like literally attached to my phone, just like waiting to hear something. And I'm, I, I'm going mental. I mean, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I should be doing something else, but I already did like, I already spent time doing meditation. I cleaned. I didn't want to overexert myself, so I didn't clean for too long. So then I was like, I should sit. Maybe I should turn on the TV or something, but I just, I'm consumed with, like I've got it, knots in my stomach. I feel sick to my stomach. And not like the good pregnant kind, just more the like 
butterfly nerves. So, yeah. Um, I really hoped, because they had said that within two hours, that I would have heard by now. Um, it's been three. I feel like the call will come any minute, but, you know, I know the clinics are busy, and I know that they're short-staffed because people are on holidays. I tried to sign up for this, like, patient portal thing so I could look up my results myself. Because I'm impatient and a control freak like that. And, uh... I got denied because my ID, I need to fill out this like form and send a copy of my photo ID so that I can sign up. I don't know. It's annoying. Of course, right? Of course. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to like will my phone to ring. Anyone who's gone through this knows how agonizing it is. I don't know what to do with myself, honestly. I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, so officially got the call from the clinic and um, obviously it was positive, but the question was how positive? Uh, my number, my HCG came in at 192, which is lower than I was like ideally hoping for. I was kind of hoping I'd see a level of 300. Um, but that's, I, that's probably just me being greedy, honestly. Um, <laughs> and my testosterone came in at above 50, which is fantastic, so that's good. Um, so now we just have to wait until Thursday to see that the number is doubling. You want to see it double every 48 to 72 hours. And um, that would mean that my next beta, we would, in an ideal world, if it was doubling every 48 hours, it would be about in, like, in the 380s or close to 400 um, as long as it's kind of in the 300s, I think that we're probably pretty safe just because, um, as long as it goes up by 60%, let me check. So yeah, as long as it's in the 300, I just did a calculation. As long as it's in the 300s, um, then I think that's a good indicator that this is a viable pregnancy and that we're kind of able to relax until our scan a little bit. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not the type of person who's going to be able to relax 100%, but I'm going to try. So... That's that. Um, I, uh, I did a bit, a bit of backwards calculation. Um, it seems pretty much where I should be re realistically. If it was doubling every 48 hours exactly, then on the day that we got my first positive, it would have been around 25. And given how sensitive the tests are, I think I was probably a little lower than that. So I seem to be doubling well. Um, so I don't think I have anything to worry about. But you never know. There are still things can still happen. It's still very early. Um, your numbers can go up for a while and then stop. So like, I, I don't consider myself out of the woods at all. And obviously because we're sharing this publicly so early, we have to be aware that it's, there's always risks and things can happen. And so I'm trying to guard my heart a little bit and not get too excited. So if I don't seem excited, it's, it's because it's really hard for me to get excited. I'm just trying to protect myself from more disappointment because we've been disappointed for years and years. So anyways, um, that's where we're at. But I mean, I'm, I can breathe a sigh of relief for sure. Feel a lot better with that number. Feeling good going into beta number two. That's on Thursday, um, the 20, 29th. And, uh, and then we'll see. And then obviously our scan won't be sometime until January, but uh, that'll come up super quick, I'm sure. Although it'll feel like ages, <laughs> but it'll be here before I know it. So that's it. That's all. Thanks for uh, following along with our journey. Hi to our new subscribers. Thanks for uh, clicking that subscribe button and, and joining us and supporting me throughout this process. It's um, joined us at a really weird time because I am in limbo right now, but um, hopefully we'll get through it and we can get to the fun stuff because that's what I want to do. I want to start planning our life with our baby or babies. I just... I want to move. I want to move forward, anyways. I'm really excited that you've joined us, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, bye, guys.